Hello guys, I'm Cal from Two Nation Reviews and today we'll be looking at the HD Spy Pen camera which claims to record at 1280 by 960 pixels in AVI format at 30 fps. Okay, let's jump right in here. In the box we get a USB to mini USB A to B lead. We just make a slight modification there because it was slightly too big but I'll show you that later. Uh, and we get of course the pen itself, nice gold design, black. You can see the mini camera there. At the bottom, it's an actual functioning pen if you just twist the nib and you can twist it back. Now if we disassemble the main part, you can just unscrew it and there's the cartridge for the pen. And over here we have the micro SD slot and the mini USB socket. Now, it would be a good thing to note here that I had to supply my own micro SD card, but I believe on eBay you can get them ordered with it. I'm using a 4GB Class 4 micro SD HP card here. And you just slot it in. Make sure you put it the right way up. And just goes in there. Quite a tight fit, but it works pretty well. Just sits in there, and you just get the bottom and screw it back on. Now at the top of the pen there we have the camera hole just above the clip and at the back of the pen at the top there is an indicator light and the bottom is a reset hole which you could use a pointy object such as a paper clip to push. Okay now into the operation of the pen. If you press and hold the button at the top there for a few seconds when the red light comes on it is now in standby mode and press it once more and it goes flashing into recording mode. So this is now recording and I'll show you the sample footage later. Press the top button once more, just put it back into standby mode. Okay, once you're in standby mode, if you press the top button three times in a row, it'll take a still photo. I'm just taking a couple here, just press it three times, and it takes a photo. And once you're finished, if you hold down the button again for a couple of seconds, it will turn itself back off. Okay, so if you turn the pen on and go to hit record and you get five blue flashes, this most likely means that the pen is either out of storage or out of battery. Okay, so charging is pretty simple. Just get your mini USB lead and place it in. Now I had a slight problem with the micro SD card not allowing it to go in all the way, you can see there. But I solved this by just getting a knife and cutting back the plastic a bit and it fits in perfectly. So then all you do is you plug the USB into either a wall socket like one of these or you can plug it into your computer. Okay, so once you plug it in it should start flashing red and blue. This is to indicate that it is charging and it will stay at a solid red once it is finished and been fully charged. I should also take the time to mention that this did in fact come with an instruction manual. It's pretty simple, it just goes through the basics, the contents, the layout of the pen and it also powering on simple instructions, recording video, pretty much everything I've told you in this video. It also goes through taking still photos, charging the pen and downloading things to your computer. Here are the tech specs in case anyone wants to know them. The resolution there is in fact 720 by 480 and if you take photos in fact upscaled to 1280 by 720 rather than actual native true HD. Now to get the photos and video off your computer you can either plug the device directly in via USB to your computer or like I'm going to do is use a micro SD to SD adapter and plug it directly in. Okay here are some sample photos from the device itself and now I'm going to be quiet and let you listen to the video of the device. So as you can hear in the background, there's a pipping sound caused by the pen not shielding itself from interference. Also, the resolution is clearly not HD, but for €15.99 of eBay, this is a pretty good pen for the price. And, as always, Gurev Mahogat.